the physics lecture in the last video we have learned about the concept of light we have started the lesson light and we have discussed that there are mainly the two main types of light that is natural and man made or man made is also called as a artificial source of light can you tell me what is the prime source of light yes sir sun is the prime source of light am i right it is a natural source of light stars is also a natural source of light then tube light bulb they comes under the artificial source of light then we have discussed about the luminous and non luminous object what is meant by the luminous the luminous means what the the object which emits the light they are called as a luminous object for example tube light sunlight yes or no they are they comes under the luminous object and non luminous means the object which do not emits the light so that is called as a non luminous object are you getting me that we have discussed about the transmission of light uh, takes place with the three types of medium that is transparent translucent and opaque transparent means what the object the material through which the light can pass the it allows the light to pass that is called as a transparent object for example glass clear air is an example of transparent object then we have discussed about translucent so can you tell me what is meant by translucent the translucent means what the material through which the sub light can pass through it that is called as a translucent material for example tissue paper butter paper they comes under the translucent material then we have discuss about opaque object opaque object means what the material through which the light does not pass that is called as a opaque object it does not allow the light to pass that is called as a opaque object for example chair we human being yes or no so it comes under the opaque object then in the last video we have discussed about the rectilinear propagation of light so can you just tell me what is meant by the rectilinear propagation of light when a light travels in a straight path when a light travels in a straight path that process or that phenomenon is called as a rectilinear propagation of light that phenomenon is called as a rectilinear propagation of light related to that we have done the two experiment do you remember yes in the last video we have learned the two ex experiment we have done of cd and a pipe that light and i have proved that light always travels in a straight line and that phenomena is called as a rectilinear propagation of light this was a recall of the last two videos in today's video we are going to discuss about the new concept that is of shadow today we are going to discuss about a shadow what is meant by the shadow just we will discuss it what is the actually the things now see the, uh, we have learned the three types of material that is transparent translucent and opaque object am i right when the light when a source of light when falls on an opaque object when when a source of light falls on an opaque object it casts a a dark patch on the ground or on the screen that is called as a shadow that is called as a shadow the dark part is called as a shadow now for example you can do the activity at your home you if you are having the torch you can just on the torch and you can keep any opaque object for example you can take this pen and you can on the a torch and you can see the shadow what you will observe you just you if you will observe it you will see the shadow of this image you can you can see the shadow of this object behind behind this object am i right you can observe the shadow so the dark part of so the dark part of uh, uh, the dark part of uh, the dark part is called as the shadow it is called as a shadow shadow mainly consists of two part shadow if you will see it consists of mainly two part now for example now see if this is a source of a light 
this okay and suppose this is an object this is a source of light this is object and suppose this is a screen when a source of light falls on an opaque object when light falls on an opaque object it casts a shadow it casts a shadow on the screen now suppose this is a screen we can cast the shadow on the screen see shadow it will cast am i right but now if we will see it depends on the source you can see the two types of the shadow that is one you can see a very dark spot now suppose this is a circle through which the light is passed through it now when a light passes through it it casts a shadow like this we Screen means and it should and the screen should be also an 
Thank you everyone.